Hello and welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. I'm Nilofa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be pa painting in my sketchbook, watercolor sketchbook. So let's get started. So today we'll be painting a flower pot of vase. I'm using a round brush, a four number round brush and I won't be sketching so I will be going directly with the paints. I'll make a swatch card on the left over here where I list down all the colors. So I'm starting with a, with the cobalt turquoise. If you don't have this color you can use a thaler blue. I'm gonna paint you can say make a water puddle or water sketch of the pot of the vase. Just Imagine that this is your pencil and just do a very light water sketch of a vase. Then I'm going to take a thalo blue and then start pouring in the color from the edges or the corners of your vase. Leave some white space in the middle so that you get uh, reflection and also do not totally cover the whole area with the color. You want some white reflection, white spaces around. Once we're done with the base layer, now I'm going to take in some thaler blue or you can take a Persian blue, either of the colors and start pouring in some darker tone color on the base of the pot and on the little tip of the vase, vase or pot. Uh, this will show you, this will book in, you can say, your shadow areas. I'm taking in some a warm yellow color like an Indian yellow and adding a little flower on the top just really very close to the mouth of the vase a crimson uh, oops. a crimson and uh, just blending in the little bits of crimson I love crimson so I think this is one of the one color that I has to be there in every flower in my every painting that I paint uh, blending out some uh, blending the color once you've added some, the color just take a damp brush and blend out the color that gives you a nice uh, fairy or you can say transparent petal look just take a damp brush and then blend it out See, that's a beautiful, delicate petal, uh, petals you get with blending the colors out. Let's take in the sap green and add the middle areas, the stems, the branches around. These are like the tall ones that I'm adding to give the framework of your, of the pot of the vase that we're working on. Right? I'm using a sap green and you can also add a little a tint of brown maybe burnt sienna or so to get that look that nice uh, brown shade if you want for your stems now i am adding the same green color or you can say a little more uh, emerald green color shade on to the vase area the tip of the vase where we have previously added thalo blue to create the dark shade i'm going to spread that same color all the way down where my darker color is going to fall in. So that is where the shadow of the vase is falling in. Right? That's from, from that area, I'm going to stretch a shadow, uh, stretch the shadow downwards. Make sure you nicely blend it out and there is no hard lines when you're adding this color. Use the same emerald green color to give more detail. Now here, yeah, I've taken the color and I'm stretching it out all the way on the left side creating a shadow for like a cast shadow of my vase using paints gray to add, deepen the shadow color and don't forget to blend the color it's very important blend the color with a damp brush use a lovely sap green uh, mix it with some yellow and start adding a little uh, little leaves or bigger leaves mismatch them with little and big leaves around your vase add some start adding some details once your flower has dried up start adding some details now i'm going to add my favorite wildflower 
I have a tutorial on this wildflower. Uh, it's a beautiful wildflower. I have a full detailed tutorial that I'm going to list down on the right corner. So do go and check it out. Add the little purple wildflowers and blend them out. A little bit more of fillers. Now I'm adding more fillers in the mid middle area. I don't want to make very too many flowers and just cramp up the whole bouquet. So adding little dots of fillers. Now I'm taking in some crimson color and adding it to our shadow, the base from here and on the middle of your vase for my vase and then also adding it into the shadow cast shadow section i'm adding this because i don't want to leave it just paints gray or blue uh, i want to create some uh, detail some character in the shadow that's why i'm adding throwing in some lovely crimson make sure you add some lovely little thin grass or thin leaves you can use a rigor brush a very thin zero number brush or you can also use this brush this is a princeton uh, velvet touch brush velvet touch series brush i absolutely love it just go with the flow add some lovely thin lines i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and had fun painting this vase with me if you try do share with me and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye